Hi, you guys. I'm Phil Town from Rule One Investing. And today I want to talk to you about being patient and how that will earn you money and make you rich. Charlie Munger once very famously said, you don't make money when you buy and you don't make money when you sell. You make money when you wait. That is so powerful, that idea. But it's easy to overlook how important it is in how you're investing. The whole idea of rule one investing is to buy a stock, a big margin of safety, buying it low, and selling it someday when it's very, very high here. That's it's kind of the idea, right? But really, the kind of, you know, the amount of time we'd like to hold a stock is forever. And the key that I'm trying to get across here is that what we're doing as rule one investors is nothing most of the time. That's right. You really should be doing nothing. You shouldn't be buying and you shouldn't be selling. And if you're confused, okay, stick around because that's what I want to dive into a little more in this video. So let's get started. The most common and arguably the most beneficial place for an investor to put their money is into the stock market. No question about it, right? I mean, if you look at all the other investments over the last 200 years, the stock market crushes them on the order of like a thousand to one. I mean, any other investment. So if you're going to do your homework and if you understand how to pick great companies at attractive prices, man, all you have to do is build your watch list. That's really it. And the market will take care of the rest. So think about the other options with a savings account. Your money's actually losing value thanks to inflation and, and really low interest rates that can't keep up with inflation over time. In fact, the dollar devaluation is so intense on the US dollar that if you'd put your money in a savings account, <laughs> this is disgusting. If you put your money in a savings account back in 1800, today, that a dollar of that money will only buy less than five cents of stuff, all right? And the interest rates you would have gotten paid in your savings account wouldn't have even kept up with inflation at all. Now, when you buy stocks, what you're buying is a small portion of the company that you bought into, right? So when this company profits, when it builds profits, they could pay you a portion of those profits and dividends, right? So you could be picking up money from that. But over time, the profits in this company, if it's a wonderful company, will be reinvested by the company. This is one of the most amazing things that people don't understand about investing is that they're buying into a money creating machine. The money that it makes gets reinvested. And if they're a wonderful business, the rate of return on that reinvested capital is astonishingly high. In some companies, it's as high as 30 or 40% a year reinvested capital rate of return. So this is amazing. And what that means is that over time, if you wanted to sell the company down the road, the, the enormous compounding growth rate of your capital that's in there will be reflected in the stock market and you'll be able to make an enormous profit. In fact, that dollar in 1800 invested in stocks in 1800, 200 years later, apart from inflation, this is after deducting inflation, is worth $1 million. That is the power of compounding rates of return. And those compounding rates of return are nowhere on the planet as large as they are in wonderful businesses. So when I say that all you have to do to, to, do, to be fabulously wealthy is to just become knowledgeable, make good decisions about wonderful businesses, buy them on sale, stay rational and wait. And I really mean it, you guys. Waiting is the key. Really, you should never buy a company with the intention of selling it. That isn't real investing. That is speculating that over some period of time here, you are going to you know, sell that company in a year or two or three. Now, I have to confess, I do do that occasionally. But we focus on buying companies we never want to sell. That, that's really the basic idea. Rule one investors know if you aren't thinking about owning a stock for 10 years, 
you shouldn't even think about owning it for 10 minutes. All right, not even 10 minutes. All right, we do do some trading occasionally. <laughs> but apart from that, absolutely, that's the that's the the meme that we were talking about. The meme, that's an idea that we're just drilled into our heads. But many people these days are really quick to kind of jump on these other meme stocks like GameStop and AMC and might even try day trading. Absolutely, we've had rural investors jump ship and go day trade. But investing, good investing is not trading and has a vastly different goal. Trading, when it's really done well, is taking a kind of measured risk for a you know, reasonably short period of time, a discrete period of time, right? With enough money to generate some profit. And typically, it involves some pretty wild swings in profitability. You're gonna have you know, a lot of up and then a sudden big downs, and that's just the way it goes. But investing is about minimizing risk and generating wealth over the long term. It's not about generating short-term profits. I mean, one of the things in our, you know, talk about memes, one of the memes of rule one investing is, if you aren't comfortable sustaining a 50% drop in the mark-to-market -market price of your company, you really are in the wrong business. We're perfectly fine. Like right now, I own some businesses. Um, I think they're still inexpensive and I expect them to go up quite a lot in the future. But if there's a market crash and it takes down all the stocks, it'll take these down as well. If they go down by 50%, I'm going to be so excited because I'm going to be able to buy these wonderful businesses at this ridiculously low price. So we want to understand that waiting benefits us if we know what we're doing. Warren Buffett once said, an investor should act as though he had a lifetime decision card with just 20 punches in it, right? Just 20 punches. Now this quote's basically saying if you could only buy 20 stocks in your entire life, you would be a lot more careful where you invest. And if you do that, what Buffett goes on to say is that four or five of them do well, you're going to be very, very rich. So you spend your time doing nothing about buying and nothing about selling. You spend your time, the nothing that we do is just sitting down and reading about businesses that we really love, businesses that we're passionate about, businesses that we really would love to own all of. And you'll discover that if you really focus on that, focus on what you love, understanding yourself, what's really your passion, you're going to be a great investor and you will magnify that over time. So this is really the essence of rule one investing. You don't have to diversify massively over diversification to be successful in this stock market. 20 companies in your lifetime, you guys, come on, could you do that? If you knew it would make you wealthy, could you do that? even if you're not that interested in it, if you knew it would result in you teaching your children how to be a good investor and creating generational wealth and changing their lives and the lives of the, of the generations to come, that would be pretty cool. So if you wanna learn how to do this and invest in companies that you are already passionate about, then just consider taking my, my uh, investing webinar. I think you guys should do it. It's about an hour long, 100% free. It's over on the website. It'll teach you all you need to know about investing with more confidence and prepare you to really learn to be a really good investor, okay? It's not in one hour, you're not gonna be a great investor, but it will definitely get you set up so you understand what you're going to be learning in the future and how to invest with a lot less risk compared to these other guys out there. So now I'd love to hear from you guys. Why don't you tell me about how patience could make you money or when it has and if you'll do that, that would be great. And I'll be sure to comment and follow up with you guys. So thanks for watching. Now go play. You guys, if you enjoyed this video and feel it was valuable in teaching you more about how patience will make you money, hit the like button and please share this video with your friends. And if you want more investing content, subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click the button on the screen. There's a free gift there. And thanks for watching.